this is the default view of guitar chord and there's a guitar chord version 2 that I'll get into in a few minutes you have an on-screen control for positioning and you can type in a chord progression for convenience but I do not recommend that you try to keyframe any of this let's say you wanted to do House of the Rising Sun and you could do A minor and then C, D, F and then the only other chord that's used in the song is E and so you have them all available when you option drag to duplicate an instance like you see in the storyline down here you have all of these cut so to change chords you just change the display chord thing here now what about the flats and the sharps if you go into the keyboard characters viewer if you come down to uh, the Unicode section down in this uh, 2000 range right here you've got some music symbols right here uh, you've got uh, the flat sign here and the sharp sign here so I'll get this out of the way real quick come into Final Cut um, place the cursor where I need it and if I double click on the symbol if I double click on the symbol here it gets entered into the text so if I come back to chord number one you see I have A sharp minor the fret position here if you take it off of zero it shows which fret you're starting from and you notice the nut disappears you can adjust the background a bit because the fret position can go as high as 18 you can set the bar A position with this and the number of strings it covers with this or you set the dots with these controls for this version and you can select which ones to mute with this section and you can display which strings are open and which strings are muted with these down here just slide to the open circle or the X you can invert this there's an outline that goes around here you don't see it right now because it's a black background but and you can adjust the size with this and like I said you can position this on the screen now the recommendation is you create one position it size it and then option drag a copy to create the next one then use the chord progression if you have it to do the next chord and draw it out and then after you've got your initial chords done you can option drag copies of them into place and that's about the fastest workflow that I've been able to come up with now for version 2 slightly different version 2 has on-screen controls for the positions here it has this kind of uh, bar A notation and the number of strings is adjusted here so if you've got like and we'll do say three and you can just drag this into position like this 
Uh, the problem with this one is these don't automatically align perfectly. So just a few little hints uh, how to get this working. This is pretty fast if you set up all your chords first. You can do about 24 or 25 chords and then the easiest thing to do is just option drag out copies that are in the same place and create the next chord. Once you get your progression made then you can do multiple copies of the generator and then drag them out for the entire progression and then just you know move them around and match them with the time of the music. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I will catch you on the next one.